Hi lovelies, I bring to you another mind-blowing video. I will be showing you how to turn your waste into wealth. In this video, I will show you how to make charcoal briquettes from charcoal dust. We are making strong reusable charcoal briquettes from our charcoal dust that we often throw away. Like I often say, the economy has become so hard and we need to shine our eyes. If you're based in Africa, and you are looking for a lucrative side hustle, then you have just stumbled on the right video. Watch this video keenly, and I bet you will not regret your time. What do you often do with your charcoal dust after using your charcoal? Throw it away, right? Not anymore. We are going to transform this charcoal dust into charcoal briquettes. Are you ready? Let's dive in. So in this bucket, we have five liters of charcoal dust. And then we need just one extra ingredient to make this charcoal briquette. And that is all-purpose flour. Yes, the same flour we use in baking. And we need just two cups and hot water. And lastly, our mixing bowl. To begin with, I will put on my hand gloves. But this is totally optional. Feel free to handle charcoal with your bare hands. So to begin with, I pour our charcoal dust into our mixing bowl then i proceed to add in our all-purpose flour and for this five liters of charcoal dust we need just two cups of flour and this flour serves as the binder so we stir the charcoal dust to combine well with the all-purpose flour if it's your first time stopping by here you are most welcome Hit the subscribe button below to join this beautiful community where we share amazing DIYs, recipes, and health tips. As you can see, I did not bother to sieve out the big particles from the charcoal dust because flour is a very good binder. It binds absolutely everything together. So when using flour as your binder, no need sieving the charcoal. So once the charcoal dust and the flour mixes well, we then come in with hot water we pour in bit by bit and mix have you liked this video have you youtube has made it free of charge just hit the like button below to support this video and why not share this video with your friends and family you might just be helping someone so we just keep adding our hot water bit by bit and mixing so at this point i'll be going in with my hands it's not too hot, so I'll set the spatula aside and I mix with my hands so that I'll be able to mix everything and the water will be evenly distributed in the charcoal dust. I cannot specifically give you a specific amount of water to use, so you just keep adding your water bit by bit and mixing until the mixture becomes moldable. Please like this video. It is very important. Thank you. So once the mixture becomes moldable, just like this, then we stop mixing at this point and we start molding our charcoal briquettes. But before that, we spread out a bag where we are to dry our briquettes on. So let's proceed to mold our briquettes. And to mold our briquettes, you have to apply pressure. The quality of the briquettes would depend on how hard you are able to mold the briquettes. So the stronger you are able to compress and mold, the longer the briquettes are going to burn when cooking. So we just keep molding until we are able to mold all the charcoal briquettes. So as you can see, with just two cups of flour, we are able to transform our charcoal dust into lots of charcoal briquettes and in my area a kilogram of all-purpose flour is 500 francs and one kilogram can give us up to eight to nine cups of flour and for this recipe we have used just two cups of flour so in a nutshell we have used flour what at most 150 francs so with just 150 francs we are able to get charcoal briquettes that can be used about two to three times guys can you imagine this are you thinking what i am thinking does this sound like a business idea to you 
Shine your eyes so once the going gets tough, the tough gets going. We are done molding and just take a look at our charcoal briquettes. So we proceed to dry these briquettes. Two days is enough to dry this briquette if there is enough sun. I actually dried this briquette for three days because we are in the rainy season. And after three days, this is what we have. Take a look at our charcoal briquettes. They are so hard that you need to use a matchet to break through these briquettes. Look at that. They are really so hard. And because of that, these briquettes are actually reusable, meaning after cooking, you could quench the fire and redry them and use again. That is actually the quality of the briquette we just made. And the moment of truth has come. Let us test and see if our charcoal briquettes actually work. So in our charcoal pots, we pack in our charcoal briquettes. You can use them whole or you choose to break them as well. There are actually several methods to light up charcoal briquettes or charcoal in general. So I will do that in another video so that this video doesn't become unnecessarily long. So I will dedicate another video specifically to show you how to easily light up your charcoal briquettes. So stay glued to this channel. A lot more still to come. As you can see, our charcoal briquettes are lighting up perfectly and they are almost ready for use. So at this point, we'll proceed to boil some water and indeed our water took just about 15 minutes to boil just look at that our water is already boiling so i went ahead to prepare my corn fufu and after preparing my corn fufu our briquettes were still burning so i went ahead to boil some vegetables as you can see i'm placing my pot of vegetables on the fire so i actually boiled my vegetables and i went ahead to steal my vegetables oh my god these charcoal briquettes are so amazing to use in cooking if you can estimate how long it takes to cook fufu corn and vegetables you actually know that these briquettes burn for long and after cooking some were still looking whole and I proceeded to take them out of the charcoal pot and then I poured some water on them. This is what it means when we say these charcoal briquettes are actually reusable. So after this, you proceed to dry them, dry in the sun for a day or two, and you are able to use it again in cooking. Oh my God, this is absolutely worth trying. Please, if you're fond of throwing away your charcoal dust, please have a rethink. If you have watched up to this point, I want to take this time to appreciate you. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.